case. Haze is a pollution problem that seems to affect us year after year. We know it isn't very pleasant and can recognize the burning smell almost immediately. Our throats and noses are affected and sometimes we end up coughing or having difficulty breathing. The thick smog also clouds and chokes our skies, making it dull and gloomy. But exactly where does this haze come from and how does it happen? It's time to stop clouding the facts and get some answers. Haze is the result of forest fires burning in neighboring countries. These fires are started by smallholder farmers and brokers committing illegal burning activities because of a need for land. Many residents of Riau depend on forestry activities to make a living. And with over 5 million residents and counting, there is an immense pressure for locals to clear land quickly and inexpensively. As a result, they often resort to illegal burning. The hot and dry season in the region also adds to this fiery issue. This season is brought about by a weather phenomenon called El Nino Southern Oscillation. The dry and hot weather causes fire to spark easily on dry vegetation in forested areas. Sometimes it takes a while for these fires to be noticed as they are so deep in the forest and by the time help comes, it cannot be easily put out or contained. But if these fires are started in another country, why does it bother us? This is because smoke from these fires is often carried by southwest monsoon winds into neighboring countries such as Singapore and Malaysia. When the haze crosses from one country to another, it is called transboundary haze pollution. This typically occurs between the months of June and September each year. The intensity, velocity, and direction of the southwest monsoon wind play a big part in determining how far the haze travels and how thick its fumes are. Now, surely something can be done to prevent future occurrences of haze pollution, right? In reality, it takes more than just one party to stop the haze crisis from reoccurring. It is a collaborative effort between the local authorities, communities, private sector corporations, and international agencies to help prevent the haze. Each stakeholder has a part to play in the efforts against haze. For example, local authorities in Indonesia need to more effectively enforce bans on illegal burning activities. ASEAN governments are coming together to develop strategic measures that will strengthen the region's capacity and capability to address and combat transboundary haze pollution. Private plantation companies operating in Rio also have a big part to play in continuously training and educating local farmers. New jobs can also be offered to improve living standards. This will reduce the need for local villagers to commit illegal burning activities. Large companies are also leading the way by offering their resources to firefighting efforts in Ria. All of these elements piece together to form a big picture perspective on how we can combat haze. Together, we can work hand in hand to combat this hazy issue.